Okay, so good evening. It's 9.30 and we begin our show again. And uh, this is a very, very special uh, show for me because my mom sits here and today it's even more special because so many of you are there. And my friend Kiran Gupta is there. She promised and she managed to be here despite her uh, workshops and everything. So uh, what is this show about? <clears throat> On 22nd of March, I started the show. It wasn't really thought about of being a show or anything. It just started with the brainwave because somebody gave me a call and said, you know what, I'm not feeling okay. And I thought to myself, am I capable of holding everyone together and keeping them calm during this time? To be really honest, I was the one who was not calm. And I wanted to meet my friends. And I didn't even know how to organize a Zoom call. I didn't know even know how to uh, schedule it. And that's from where we began. Today, it's very organized where we've covered how many countries, Jakarta, Thailand, Germany, uh, Finland, um, <clears throat> Australia, uh, Denmark, uh, Egypt. Um, I don't even know. I mean, Israel. Uh, you name the country and it, it's been here. You name the country I've spoken about it. Uh, so anybody and anybody from any modality, anybody who wants to share about their life or has something to share with people, wherein you feel that you can hold people together. That's all this forum is about. It's not about money. It's about your energies. It's about how much time can you give of yourself or the other people and how much can they, you know, I had heard this song when I was younger. Uh, Ki suna, actually the song was Garibo ki suno wo tumhari sunega tum ek lakh doge wo das lakh dega. I used to always laugh. What nonsense is this? But the fact is, you don't really have to even give money. All you have to do is give yourself. All the time, if you give yourself, people will give back to you that much of love. We often ask ourselves, people didn't love us, but we never asked ourselves how many people did we love. So this is from where we start the forum today. And uh, over to Binaifa. Binaifa has completed 102 shows, and that's commendable. So, um, Binaifa, if you could please come online and read for my speech. Yes, thank you. Thank you. You're looking so pretty today. <laughs> thank you. Uh, if you could read for uh, Dr. Sanchita. Sach Sanchit. Dr. Sachitra Kumar. Dr. Yes. Sachit. Thank you so much. Thank you. Any questions, doctor? No. Okay. Your favorite general. <laughs> general. <laughs> uh, I actually I have uh, conducted two another session and uh, and I felt you know quite energetic while the speaking to Anu. I found this group is definitely a wonderful group because I attended the last one also. Fantastic. Thank you, Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And uh, yeah. Uh, so doctor, for you, what I'm getting is um, a movement towards spiritual growth. So just accept what's coming your way. Intuitively, you know what is to be done. Uh, maybe some blocks that you're feeling toward yourself or you know how you can do better with yourself, with your spirituality, with whatever you're doing. So just change your perspective on a few things as to how life is going right now. And uh, you will see a lot of changes happening, a good changes happening right now in your life. And that is leading towards a spiritual journey. So accept that with open arms and a lot will change for you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, that is what that is. I, I'm just coming to that. It is some way or other. It is happening with me also. A couple of uh, years before, I started a journey with Gratitude Miracle and I have seen a lot of people, you know, joining that and it's wonderful that it's the process started. Thank you. Wonderful. Thank you. Wonderful. I think uh, is speaking, doctor, so you'll have to have a look of the voice. Uh, let's go to the next person and the next speaker of the day, Priyanka Patel. If you can do the please. Thank you. Yes. Hi, Priyanka. Hey, Vinayfar, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. 
Hi, Arsi. Hi, Anu. Hi, rest of them. Any questions? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> So Priyanka, for you, I'm getting a lot of movement happening right now uh, for you. Uh, and the movement is more an inward journey, a more a spiritual journey. A lot of changes are happening right now. So your perspective is changing for a lot of things. And you are more open to receiving, um, actually, I could say receiving a download of information that's coming to you from the universe. So be more open to that. A lot of intuition of yours will open up. A lot of things are somewhat going to fall in place, but it's going to take time. And somewhere some upheaval or the other will happen, but just take it as it's coming and just let it come and go. Like the waves, you know how they just come and they go. So you just be the rock where you're just, seeing everything happening and absorbing it because spiritually also a lot of improvement is there a lot of a good journey is going to start you just need to change your perspective about a few things and things will fall in place thank you wonderful if we wow can... thank you Arti, the sigh that would be brilliant and yes. I promise you Arti, we try our best not to talk about your home front I'm sorry. No, no, my mother is not back today. <laughs> I'm very happy for the change. <laughs> okay, let's do the cowdy reading for her. I have overworked today, guys. It's so interesting how, you know, every day is so different. Of course, we'll get it done, Geeta. If anybody else wants the reading to be done, just put it down in the chat. Arti, sorry. <laughs> it's gone About again. It. Family no. <laughs> okay, let's, let's explore that further. Okay. So the thing today is that um, you are starting to get in the flow, but you still don't know where to just park yourself right now. Okay, so things are happening around you. Things are moving around you. You want to settle in where, where you feel belonged, where you feel at home, but that is not happening right now. So just, um, just take things as they are coming. Just let it come and go. Receive whatever is coming your way. Some karmic clearance is happening. So receive that as well. Once that is done, uh, a beautiful union is there with uh, with family. So whether it is you and your husband, whether it is uh, the rest of the family also, but it's it's there. It's a happy time for you very soon. Thank you. Thank you very much. Brilliant. That's brilliant. I love it the way she says it's happy time for you very soon. <laughs> love it. I love the diplomacy with which you, the words are so beautifully woven. Uh, I think I deserve a reading today. It's my birthday tomorrow. Yeah. I and, uh, we have two more people who've asked for reading. One is Geeta. Other is Vaishali. Okay, so I'll start with you and Okay. So I know for you, a beautiful blend between protection and money has come up. So as you, as you protect yourself, as you go ahead with protection, um, a lot of wisdom comes your way. And with this wisdom, a lot of abundance comes your way. So there is a cycle going on with you as well of karmic uh, cleansing. Whatever is not required is coming out. So when it comes out, a lot of upheaval does happen. So let that happen. Receive the help that you get. If you need somebody to just do a healing for you or do a cleansing for you, please accept that and ask for help. 
because intuitively you are going to know right now what is absolutely required for you so do that and there is a very bright um, bright period in your life uh, right now so enjoy that thank you thank you so 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 much hi anya so nice to see you so beautiful i missed you man how are you <laughs> I've been I for hi everyone. Hi, Anya. How are you? Good to see you. See you all again. <laughs> yes. Uh, okay. Let's read for Geeta. Yes. Any questions, Geeta? General. She she has. Let me see if she's written anything here. I want help. I just need help. That's what she said. just general would be nice okay she's 29367 born so geeta the focus for you is family right now you want to really i guess bind with them to bond more with them to be on a happier note with them including finances so there is a good time with finances coming your way right now so just be a little patient it's not far away whatever issues are there with the money aspect right now you just need to ask for help whether you ask for professional help with uh, cleansing yourself or you know just taking a session or if you know that somebody can handle your money matters well go to such a person so you know what help is required currently so go with that and uh, things will improve for sure take care thank you wonderful uh, i mean something done for her mean her date of birth is 712 sorry say the name again anu uh, meena meena to me i really appreciate meena okay so meena for you a lot of wisdom coming your way um stay with people who are going to advise you very well um try and learn something which is going to take you a long way there is a journey awaiting you as far as uh, some knowledge some new learning that's coming your way so do that for you also i'm getting a bit of karmic cleansing uh, so let that happen let the cleansing happen along with that protect yourself you need to protect yourself you need a or maybe whatever you are chanting do that or just get some professional help as far as cleansing or healing is concerned and uh, slight family issues are there but i'm getting that it will get sorted out soon as just the minute you change your perspective about a few things as far as your family is concerned it's going to sort itself out so don't worry thank you wonderful we have the next person called vaishali and she wants reading she's 93 born Twelve to nine. Okay, so Vaishali, I'm seeing a few blocks as far as your family is concerned, as far as uh, you trying to move ahead spiritually is concerned. So just uh, try and connect with yourself again. Do something which will make you happy spiritually, whether it is uh, listening to music or just taking a painting or drawing or even cooking. whatever you feel that connects you to yourself do that because there is a phase of abundance just waiting for you to you know for you to explore and uh, you do need to educate yourself about a couple of things so go ahead with that if you have planned something for yourself do that change your perspective about uh, about maybe family about somebody who you really love and things will sort it self out very soon thank you thank you so much uh, madhuri wants a reading she is 13389 born okay so madhuri for you i am getting again focus on the family where you are not feeling comfortable right now with what's happening too much happening and you're feeling maybe too bogged down too claustrophobic you just want a lot of freedom you want somebody to understand you to just you know take you out of this situation 
so i suggest you take some professional help uh, for a cleansing or you know maybe just counseling if you feel you're too bogged down by things uh, a good phase is showing up because i'm seeing a lot of brightness as far as karmic clearing goes so this is a healing phase it's just a passing phase so hang in there if you can if not please do take a healing uh, it would be required and things will improve soon thank you uh i hope i've missed out on anyone jyoti jyoti what to do okay so jyoti for you uh, it seems that you have really lost that spark within you you have you something is not making you get that back something is not making you get that inner happiness back so work on that change your perspective about life just let things go whatever has happened you can't change the past but just try and live in the future uh, live in the present live for yourself you need to change your perspective about a lot of things you need to do a lot of protection for yourself so if you're not able to manage do contact any of uh, our therapists here on the group and uh, you need help you you just need little help professionally to get uh, a little grounded but yes. otherwise just take care of yourself thank you uh there are still people who are wanting reading on the facebook you have prakash a panchal whose date of birth is 2568 he wants to know about his financial issues you are in total demand today <laughs> okay so prakash for your financial issues what i'm getting is it's going to take some time to get sorted out you need to just change the way you're handling money you need to change your attitude towards money maybe a little gratitude maybe some exercises that will help you change your perspective uh, about money you don't seem to be happy within also so the more happier you are with yourself the money that you have the money that you're earning automatically becomes happy and stays with you for longer so do that for you also i'm getting a karmic uh, clearing phase happening so it it might take some time for things to clear up but do keep yourself protected do some chants that will really help you out and things will be sorted soon thank you wonderful we have uh, ritesh goel whose date of birth is 12185 and he wants a reading general will do I where all people are putting their chats could you please kindly uh, put everything in the on the facebook because i cannot go on the messenger and search for you and put it on the messenger abhilash yog okay ritesh goel for you a general reading uh, that i have done is right now you're feeling very scattered you don't know which direction to go which direction to turn though things are moving ahead as far as money is concerned uh it's it's delayed it's delayed but it's there it's slowly slowly getting better so whatever issues that you had related to money are slowly moving away but the fact is that you can't accept or you can't believe that things can happen for you good things can happen for you so please change your mindset there good things happen to all of us so let that happiness come within you just try and be happy for yourself and things will open up it's just waiting for you to believe in your own self thank you wonderful we have abhilash whose uh, date of birth is 6 june 85 and he wants a reading and this is regarding uh, financial stories i really really appreciate all of you asking questions this is an opportunity guys don't sit with your problem okay so abhilash for you what i'm getting is that there is a financial um abundance there it's just waiting for you so just grab the opportunities that you're getting 
and work on yourself change your perspective about what's happening in your life right now because i'm seeing a very good time for you so whatever news you're expecting if you're expecting a good news financially it is going to come very soon and to uh, just take advice of somebody who's really good with finances or you know who can guide you in the right situation uh, in the right way in this current situation that you're feeling uh, that you're going through because if that's done then it's uh, it's sorted i'm getting a very good face for you right now actually so enjoy that thank you we have nikita whose date of birth is 11 8 89 uh, and if you can do a reading for her please thank you Uh, Nikita, for you, I'm getting a very confused state of mind right now, where you don't know where to turn to, what to do. So right now, the best thing for you to do is keep yourself happy with whatever, whatever you can do. Like, if you like to sing, paint, dance, cook, whatever, do that, and or uh, try and seek some professional advice because right now everything seems to be shut down except. the willingness to be with yourself so don't shut yourself out completely from from the rest of your world uh, please try and talk to somebody talk to your family members if not anu is always there uh, you know just talk to somebody you need to bring out whatever is inside a lot of frustration a lot of suffocation please bring that out and uh, things will improve for you i'm sure thank you take care Okay, we have Shilpa who wants reading. She's seventy-one, born first June, your first Jan. Sorry, just repeat the name, Anu. Ah, uh, Shilpa Vik. Shilpa. Jan ninety nineteen seventy-one, born. Okay, so Shilpa, for you, what I'm getting is uh, just open yourself up to receiving. a lot of people might want to help you a lot of uh, the universe might want to help you and surprise you so just go with that flow just just be connected to yourself a spiritual path wants to open up for you so please don't shut yourself out from spirituality don't think that if i go the spiritual way my family might suffer or you know how will i manage that's not uh, the case we can handle spirituality and our normal lives together as well so take that path and things will open up for you for sure thank you wonderful uh anya has asked for reading if you could do a read for anya please sure anya in general anya general yes yes i always forget to unmute myself yes please <laughs> <laughs> okay you are in real demand today girl yeah <laughs> <laughs> Anya for you I'm getting a beautiful journey starting so you have started to change your perspective about a lot of things and this change of attitude is taking you to greater heights so enjoy this uh enjoy the what can i say the new found spirituality so work more towards being in the spiritual field and just connecting with your inner self that is going to really take you places and try and do something some chanting or whatever you are comfortable with to protect yourself that will really really help you even more thank you wonderful thank amita, you no thank you thank you You're most welcome anya amita wants to know that she wants to start work as a freelancer will that be successful should she go ahead I must acknowledge all the speakers and the peace with which all of us down. Thank you so much. Amita, ah, uh, you need to be confident of yourself. There is nothing that is stopping you but yourself right now. Certain changes are happening within you and around you, which is making you doubt yourself. But the minute you come out of that, things are going to go your way and going to go really well. So maybe you can collaborate with somebody. Maybe you need somebody's help to just reach out to the people who you want to connect with. 
so once you do that you're sorted mentally it is going to be good so all the best okay there is still a sorry for gate crashing anu and benefa you want to benefa you forgot me no she forgotten bhul gayi no but <laughs> no no we 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 keep it for the next session she is already she is exerted actually she has done a lot of them she is exerted so we'll keep it for the next session i'm always Benefa? there for you yeah because i know so i said yaar late aaye so bhul gaye humko teen no, no, bhul no, gaye no, no. <laughs> we'll, we'll keep it for the next session pakka okay yeah. Uh, yeah, so two first reading for yashvi shah and then for uh, sofia kiran gupta Yes, we born. So I was going to say a bachu, total baby. Please read for her. so yashvi what i'm getting is that you want to move into spirituality but um what is stopping you from moving ahead in that field maybe you're getting certain messages maybe you are getting that intuition to move ahead here so please do that just uh, do as your heart desires because spirituality can never go wrong whatever age you are it's always going to benefit you and it's going to be a beautiful journey for you so please go ahead with that you might find yourself in a difficult spot right now with the family so just ignore that because it's going to shift it's going to change just change your perspective about things and things are going to fall in place uh, very soon just use your intuition you're very intuitive but you're just completely ignoring it so don't do that and do something spiritual thank you uh we have punam 1960 but before you do punam please uh, read for uh, dr kiran gupta yes thank you vinafa good evening <laughs> you're looking so lovely with open hair just keep thank on always it's beautiful <laughs> but no flowers behind today vinafa i need a uh, life in general because i have just yeah. uh, celebrated my birthday on the 10th are you have belated birthday wishes thank you yeah wishes are never belated they're always there so just see your life in general okay exhausted lots of work yeah but i just want to know what's in store okay okay so for you dr kiran what i'm getting is um don't try and shut yourself out from family or even from yourself a spiritual journey is there you're getting deeper and deeper into spirituality which is a good thing intuitively you know what is to be done and your perspective is also changing about a lot of things which again is a very good sign uh, you're receiving help from places where you know maybe you thought could not have happened and uh, things are opening up for you your receiving is opening up so just keep that open and don't uh, don't let yourself not be happy so maybe work is there maybe money is there but how happy are you from within so, so do things actually. right now which is just going to make you happy whatever it is even if it is sitting idle for one hour not doing anything do that if that makes you happy but the just you need it very badly yeah. and another thing benefit any kind of a warning sign you're seeing anything health related or what in anything what i need to be no careful it's about just, uh, it's just that it's showing an overwork right now for you that's it thankfully we don't have a close up because my eyes are all exhausted but this it made my day thank you so much benefit thank Lovely. you Okay, so next reading we have not many people are not anymore because I need to get to my speakers. Uh, next person is Poonam, nineteen sixty born. Okay, so Poonam, right now what I'm getting for you is um, very confused, feeling blocked from everywhere, and. Uh, somewhere you're not willing to 
see things at a different perspective, at a different angle. So please try and shift your viewpoint, your perspective about family, about where your life is going right now. And you definitely need some sort of protection, some sort of cleansing. So do that. If not yourself, if you're not a therapist yourself, please take professional help because you definitely need that right now to just get things back on track. Thank you. Wonderful. We have Akash, who, who is 20th April born, 96. He wants to know about his career. We cannot do all three, sir. So I'm just taking your career right now. So Akash, maybe some blocks are there right now as far as your career is concerned, but you just need to work towards it. You need to be happy with what is happening right now and ask for help. You need to do something different, maybe uh, collaborate with somebody or just try to do something different in the way of working, which will really help you uh, advance and get better in your career. Thank you. Thank you so much. We have Chaya. Last reading of the day for Chaya. She is 19, age 79 born. No, Anya, my birthday is tomorrow actually, not today. Ah. Yeah. Thank you. But everybody's been celebrating it and I just laughed because I used to start celebrating my birthday a week ahead of time. <laughs> so maybe it's my energy which is creating everybody to celebrate it a day ahead. Uh, Chaya, for you, what I've got is um, you need to ask for help right now with whatever situation you're going through. Financially, you might feel a little stuck. So use your intuition. You know exactly what is to be done. You're feeling pretty blocked as far as family is also concerned where, you know, you can't connect with people. You can't get your point across to people. So just um, open yourself up to receiving or help to receiving positive energies and do something that will keep you protected because you need some chanting, some meditation, some prayer to just keep you going. Thank you. Binaifa, last person, his name is Vivek. They haven't given a date of birth. Just put a, a Kaudi reading for him. Yeah. Log off. Yes, bye, bye, we can Anu. all leave. Bye. Thank you so bye, much, Anu. Bye, and bye, bye, bye. take care. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.